اوز بلی امی شیطان و جیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدی و یسیلی امری وحل العبدتم بی لیسان یفقا قولی اللہ مفتح علینا حکمت کا وانشو علینا رحمت کا یا عزل جلالی و الکرام اللہ من یسل و علم نافع و عمل متقبل و رزق تیب السلام علیکم ایوریون hopefully you are doing well okay today we are going to learn in python language how to add a single line command storing data and variables using input function then how to change data type from integer to float or from string to float then we will write a program to calculate student average percentage including exam plus coursework on the basis of exam plus coursework We are going to calculate. Uh, we are going to write this code in Python language, as it is. Calculate the percentage of a subject. So let's take a start. I'm going to first of all. I'm going to click on start. Then I will write here IDE. Let's write Python. ID IDLE Python IDLE Python mean integrated development learning environment Python let's click on it okay this is the Python shell 3.7 in the previous tutorial I have cleared how to download the Python 3.7 from from the Google from the internet okay and how, how to install that on your system it's very easy when you will uh, when you will download your file on the, your system then just simple double click on it and then install that file on your system okay now here we are now we are going to write our first program first of all click on file on top left corner file new file then here just give a location here safe as safe as I'm going to write here my name okay now I'm going to select desktop and I'm going to save this file on the desktop done okay now I'm going to write my first line first I'm uh, going to write a single line command uh, how to write a single line command in Python language we use this hashtag We we'll use this hashtag to write a single line command. Let me zoom in. You open a magnifier over here so that you can see clearly. Okay, I think it's better now you can uh, easily see this okay now is a number sign number uh, hashtag okay it is used to light like, uh, write us um, single light like, uh, single line comment so here I will write my name then you can mention your class XYZ okay then then the purpose of this program purpose of this program is objective um, to calculate subject percentage okay then press enter button okay single line comment um, using this hashtag compiler will not read this instruction it will ignore this one because of this tag it is a rule of this programming language and why we are using this hashtag uh, so that we can uh, leave a comment for uh, the other developer other programmer when they will study our code they will able to understand 
the what is the purpose of writing these uh, statements codes okay so uh, let's start first of all i want to uh, take subject name from the user so i will declare a variable like subject subject is equal to now i'm going to use an input function without giving any unnecessary spaces so within double quotation i'm going to write my message this is the way to uh, declare input function it is used to take the input from the user enter a subject name that's it put colon here give a space here now done okay let's see let's run this code run run module okay and he is asking to save your work yes let me save it now he is asking here look here i have written one statement over there using input function now it is asking for enters your subject name i have entered my code runs successfully now i am going to close this and go back in my code section now next step is i want to take exam marks so i will get this is my variable that i have declared now i'm going to uh, declare an input function here input round bracket start within curly bracket i will write message again enter subject marks Okay, I'll put colon or you can give a is equal to sign over here. Now I want to change this into a float. This is a string type. This is a string. Now I want to change this into a float. Float. Sometime why I'm using this float function, it will convert the string into a decimal point. Sometime your teacher will give you a, a numbers in decimal points like 75.5 or 69.5 or 55.25 so this is this float function will help you to create a decimal point done successfully now let's write another statement now i want to declare coursework so i'm going to use this as a variable cw stand for coursework so your spaces here now put is equal to sign now again i'm going to use a float function then i will use input then i will ask from the user please enter enter subject coursework marks how much you have obtained during your first term on the basis of your activities your exercise your tests your oral quizzes your teacher will give you this coursework marks over here now let's done till here we have done successfully now after that if you want to check this you can run this program Okay. Now, I will enter over here my subject name. Then I will enter my subject marks. Let's suppose seventy six. Enter now. Enter subject coursework marks. So seventy. No. Till here, everything is fine. No syntax error. Okay. Now next thing is now I want to calculate the percentage. So for the percentage, I will declare a variable. meaningful value these all are called meaningful variables which makes some sense okay now here i will use uh, exam plus coursework i am going to add exam marks and the coursework marks and divided by 2 to calculate average percentage so let's see what will happen okay now after that i will write a use a print function print function will print whatever you will write over here 
for example when you will use double quotation it will print the message just like input function it will print the message as it is but if we will write percentage I am using this variable only this variable over here in the print function within this round bracket it will print whatever is stored in the whatever is stored in the percentage variable okay let's save this now uh, one more thing uh, percentage hmm. okay let's run this okay now enter subject marks let's say Urdu uh, marks is 67 now course word marks is 67 out of 100 okay look here this is an error 100.5 out of subject marks I have obtained from uh, out of 167 and coursework out of 100 is 67 now we got the result 100.5 so this is wrong so let's go back and make some correction now I'm going to add brackets over here and computer will solve first of all add these two values then it will go for the division now it will give me a correct percentage so uh, enter a subject name enter subject marks so let me write over here out of 100 so here course marks out of 100 okay now save it control s go back here now run your code Oh, I'm going to write here this time physics okay out of 100 in physics I got 67 again again I got in course with 67 no that's my right percentage that average person that I have obtained in this coursework hopefully your concepts are clear in the next tutorial I will um, I will teach you how to use if and else uh, if statements conditional statements thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial if uh, you like it uh, then please comment and subscribe my channel take care Allah face see you in next video